That's a big day here at AI Lake to Class as WAN 2.2 has just been released. Uh, most of my videos have been done on WAN 2.1, so I've been all day working on different examples to see what I can get out of this thing, and yeah, it is really impressive. Definitely competes with anything I've seen with uh, online commercial products such as Veo and Kling and Minimax stuff like that there's just pushing the boundaries as you've seen the samples that just started those are things that i did today but i've been going through you know facebook and x and stuff like that and seeing all these little clips that uh users have been putting out today and it's just amazing just seems to be hitting new areas of excellence in filmmaking so this is a really great product um they have released a, a couple different uh, models this time which is the 5 billion perimeter model so that's for a lot of VRAM things I won't be doing anything about that I'm just going to be looking at the 14B which is closer to what I normally do um, and just go through uh, the setup which will be using the GGUF models on Confi UI um, just I wanted to start off uh, lower just to see if my system could handle because it's actually split into two models so you have a low noise model and a high noise model you need both of them so um, any old Confi UI workflows you're going to have to sort of break them up and rearrange them I'll probably do this anyway I'll probably uh, actually go through most of my tutorials that I've done break the workflows open redo them and then probably put them on my patreon at some time because um, I can see this thing being really amazing so yeah let's uh, go through and have a look at what we need to do on the one website and we've got the information on the one 2.2 model I've just been reading through this the only thing that really interests me is the training with 65 percent more images and 83 percent more videos so that's how to understand a lot more stuff when we type in, in our prompts and things like that just a note down the bottom here that the 5b model will use the one 2.2 vae i'm not using the 2.2 vae i'm using the 2.1 of a lot of users have found that it's sort of a little bit slower using the 2.2 um, and the difference is so slight that it's just not really worth it so keep that if you're doing the if you've got a 5b model you can use the 2.2 VAE but I'm just still staying with the 2.1 um, we'll go over and have a look at the the clip from their website So yeah, uh, if those users out there are wondering what's happening to uh, one 2GP and what's their scenario with this one 2.2, he's actually updated that on here and saying that he's, and to summarize all this, he's done a text to video model, but not an image to video model. Um, I mean, he's got some really amazing stuff. I've had quite a few goes at 12 GP and really like the product I can see that he will obviously use 12.2 and merge all the models make lots of fine tunes there but currently he's just made this 12.2 face cocktail so it's a bit of a text to video um, base thing and probably good if you're into that I'm not really into the um, text to video so it's not really of use for me yet, um, but I think it will be quite good later on. So what do we need to do to get started? I'm on the Bullerwinds Hugging Face site here. Um, we need a 1 2.2 low noise model and a 1 2.2 high noise model. 
Um, I'm using the GGUF models. I will have links to the FP8 scaled safe tensors, but I just wanted to start low, so I just tried on the Q4 here and another Q4 up the top there. Just click on the download link and put them in your diffusions folder. Once you've got those in there, um, you'll need a text encoder. You can get that here. Download your text encoder. Um, you'll also need your VAE. Remember I said that you need the 2.1 VAE. Don't go for the 2.2. Um, oh, I'm assuming that you have Confi UI. If you haven't, then you just have to go there first and follow these down here. This link will be down in the comments and you can look at how you can install Confi UI. The other thing you will need um, off the Kaijai website is this Light X2V. Now they've updated this, so there's a whole lot of different versions here, right? Rank 128, rank 16. 256 I've put 128 that's the one I've downloaded and everything's working fine for me um, I might even try and go up to 256 um, but you know the as you can see the bigger that is and if I move up my Q4s to Q5s and, and all of that sort of thing then I'm going to start taking up more RAM and that so it's a bit of a balance what do I want to push up do I want to push up my speed up um, model Laura or do I want to push up the size of my GGUF or even go up to the FP8 so I'm going to have a go at a lot of those things and see uh, how that goes but these are all of the things you need to do make sure that you've got comp for you I uh, updated because I I ran into errors just because I hadn't updated and didn't know what was going on so get that updated and then you should be good to go in Confi UI now and if you've got everything installed properly and everything's in the right folders you can just drag pictures in from the workflow folder that I provide um, and so let's just have a look what's different in here right so first of all I've got these FP8 uh, nodes sitting to the side here um, so they're not plugged up but if you download the FP8 scaled safe tensors you can then click the noodles take them off the ggufs and click them on to the load diffusion model over there and that's the only change you need to make if that's the ones that you want to get right so let's have a look we've got we've got two and they're basically doing the same thing right i'm connecting them to the two lauras these are the light x2v lauras these are the speed ups i've got them at 0 0.7 so the both speed ups are going through and once they're going through I've also clicked on Sage Attention. If your Sage Attention's installed good um, you could just leave it at Auto. I've got them to Triton. That seems to work for me. Um, and then I've got them going into the model sampling shift right. Um, so they're all duplicated all the way in and they have two samplers this time. So this is the important bit, two samplers, right? The first one has enable at the top there on add noise and the second one has disable. This is the way you must set up each time. I've changed my seed to randomize, um, but you know, you can keep it at fixed. The steps here are eight, CFG one, I'm using the sampler LCM. Um, now let's have a look at this on this one start at step zero and end at step four and of course across at the other one it says start at step four and end at step ten thousand i have at the bottom return leftover noise enable and the other one disable these must be the settings every time right everything else should be the same right you you still have your prompt there in this case i've had an alien creature with four pincers and two legs walks towards the camera in a desert and as you can see um well we look at the first image there just still image of that and the output it seems to do really well at this it seems to understand there's a tail there two legs four pincers coming through the mouth's opening a bit it understands what's going on it, it's crazy that it knows this sort of stuff you wonder how it's being trained but yeah, so if you've got your VAE, make sure that's clicked to the right VAE, which is 2.1. Make sure you've got the scaled safe tensors 
uh, text encoder and that's all you need to know that should run there should be no issues and yeah that's that's it I can see open source AI video generation is going to change ever since this version of the model is coming out this has really solved a lot of the problems that I've been having um, you know just the ghosting and the morphing and things like that this I'm just ending up doing one prompt generation where I'm used to like doing 10 to try and get an output so it's it's hitting things on the first time round so I'm just going to end this video by showcasing uh, their video. Well, 